Thanks. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm bored. Norwegian Joy, day number nine. Hi. It looks like you had to cheat. Look at the freestyle uh, sheet. Okay, <laughs> it got me there. Back on board the Joy though, and here in Curacao. Williamstead. That's correct. That's correct. I didn't have to look at a sheet to know that. Great. <laughs> uh, gonna get something exciting today. Lots of fun on the way. So let's go ahead and get started. Day number nine begins right about now. Did you happen to see my footwear for today? It's appropriate because we are going to Sandals Resorts. Yes, I'm going to be wearing sandals at Sandals today in Curacao. And this happens to be Sandals' newest all-inclusive resort. So we're so excited to check it out. We have our day passes ready. We're gonna have a good day today. Now Sandals Curacao is about 30 minutes away from the cruise port. So we're just coming around here over to where all the vehicles are. We're gonna catch a cab over. They're like marigolds wall. That's beautiful. Yay, new resort, here we come. Whoa, this lobby is huge. And so is that twig chandelier. It's really pretty, I love the open air. Okay, let's check in and see what we got going on. Okay, per usual, um, when we have a travel agent day pass, we have to go do um, like a travel agent tour, like where they show us some rooms, yay, and um, show us around the resort. I'm going to go on that tour, and Matt already left, and he's going to be filming the full uh, resort tour on his own, where he shows you every nook and cranny. So um, definitely keep an eye out for that video, but I'll show you uh, like a tidbit of the resort today and show you like kind of just like a little sampling of what Sandals Curacao has to offer. Like this awesome infinity pool. How cool is that? It goes straight out to the ocean. Ooh, I love a new resort. I love a new resort and we're in Curacao. Oh yeah. Upon checking in at the desk, they gave us a list of the restaurants found at the resort, which is super helpful because it has all the times for breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night snacks available. And um, these two restaurants with the X's, Vincent and Butch's, these two restaurants require reservations if you're going to be eating there. All the other ones you can just walk up. And Pietra, I think is how it's pronounced, that is the buff A available on the resort. So super good information to get. They also gave us a map upon check-in, which is super helpful. And as I mentioned, this is Sandal's newest resort, but it's not its largest resort. But there is still plenty of stuff for us to dive into and check out. All right, status update, friends. The resort tour has been canceled. Why is that? Because the resort is completely booked. There's no rooms to show. It's a new resort, so it's understandable that it's fully booked. And um, yeah, so they, they said I could have taken like a, like just a, a tour, just like them showing me the resort, but I can do that on my own and Matt's doing that anyways. So, new plan. Um, since we can't see any rooms, sorry about that. I really wanted to show you guys some rooms since um, they had some, they have some unique ones here as well. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to see those, but I might still poke around, show you some of the resort, maybe go over to where those um, new style of rooms are, like the bungalows and stuff like that. And I can maybe give you a peek from the outside. I don't know, we're gonna wing it here, but we are gonna see the resort. We are going to have a good time 
and we'll figure it out as we go. The room types I was most interested in seeing were these Awa Seaside Bungalows, which are right here, right next to the ocean, which is nice. And also these Corazon Island Poolside Bungalows, which are right here, which you see is kind of like, has a like pool lagoon in like a heart shaped. So maybe I'll try to skedaddle over there and see if I can like kind of see what they're about from the outside. Ah, I had to just run in from the outside. It started raining. So we'll just have to wait a couple minutes for this to pass, but it's the Caribbean. It'll probably be over in like two seconds. Man, this is like the day of delays. I was sitting for a while waiting for the uh, resort tour. That didn't happen. And now I'm getting rained out. But that is okay. Delays do not mean a bad day. It just means you have to wait a little bit for your good day. And that's okay. Patience is a good thing to practice. And we're doing that today and all is well. When the rain stops, we'll go have some fun. Much better. Here comes the sun. It's here now. And more importantly, my sun. We have solar sun and my personal sun. I'm not S-O-N, S-U-N, S -O -N, S -U -N, figurative, not literal. And you finished the resort tour. I did. It was actually pretty quick. These sometimes take me quite a while, but this one, not so much. This isn't a very big place. So, I don't need no stinking sandals representative to show me around this resort. I don't need a travel agent tour. I am my own personal tour guide who has seen the whole resort and can show me all the hot spots. That's true. All right, my sandal experience is in your hands, tour guide. Where shall we go first? I'm gonna head down, I wanna go this way. Okay. <laughs> I'm quite happy right now because typically when we travel, especially in the Caribbean, other sandals resorts, nowhere to recycle. Uh -huh. Everything just kind of gets put together in trash, which I don't like, but look. Ah, yay. I like how this area is basically like a palm tree farm. <laughs> if you want to see a palm tree, you, you found the right place. So we've come down in front of the main infinity pool. You can see it's splashing over the side right there, looking out at the beach. Beautiful views, you get to watch the boats come by. I will say this is a great resort if you like boating or looking at boats. Yeah. They're constantly coming through, boats, jet skis, all kind of stuff, because there is a channel right over here. Now, with that said, I think this is probably the biggest problem with this resort, in my opinion. You see the sign here. You can't swim here? You cannot swim here. You cannot swim anywhere in this main span on the open ocean. Nowhere, there's nowhere to swim here. If you want to swim, you have to go around the bend over in the channel. They have a small area marked off for swimming. It, is it still on the resort? Yes, but it's not. Oh, why don't we just go ahead and to go take a look at that so you can see. Okay. Now, that may not be a big deal to some people. If you don't really like swimming in the ocean, if you're more of a pool person, then you probably won't care about that. Right. But if you're like us and you like to get in the water, you want to snorkel, you want to swim, ah, maybe not the best resort for you. Let, let's go take a look. sandal sign with like the waterfall but then look over here you see these little huts they're not just huts they're loungers but if you go like this er, it's shaped like a heart I love that how cute and inventive guess what what I love you a whole tiki hut's worth wow <laughs> y'all ready for this here it is that's the width slash depth of the swimming area right out to that dock that walkway now it's long it keeps going down and goes around the bend a ways but that's it i'm i'm, I'm pleasantly shocked i th this is the, this is the swimming area this is the swimming not not just the swimming area it's also the water activities area they're taking the paddle boards out right now kayaks all of that is in here 
So you have to like paddleboard and stuff around people swimming? Yes. Everything gets done in here because you have the channel out there where the boats are going through. So you have to stay with inside the dock here. Dude. Yeah. If you're a beach swimmer, I would pick a different resort. There's no way you'd be happy with this. And also, it doesn't even go that deep. No, and here's the other thing. This wouldn't bother us, but I know it bothers a lot of other people. Grass. Grass bottom. It's not even like white sand the whole way. So it's a nice view. You get the, like the cliffs and the mountain, kind of tall hills over there, cactus and such. A little bit different viewing point, but uh, no, this is just good for some little lounging jump in and get wet really quick and get out. If, if you're a pool person, I think this resort's good. If you're a swim and salt person, I, I would pick a different really resort. really so much. <laughs> well, happy to say from up on the dock, first of all, check out that big school of fish. They're actually pretty good size. And up here, we can actually see that it does get a lot deeper than it looks in certain areas. Like that, yeah. that goes down quite a ways yeah. right there. So you could dive down. You could definitely swim. I thought snorkeling would be a complete waste of time, but then I do see those fish. I think you'll see some fish, like I see some sergeant majors here, you'll see those. I don't think you're going to get a lot of variety. No, and, and probably not any reef structure or anything like that, I'm guessing, but... But I'm sure being in Curacao, the free snorkel excursion's probably pretty good. Probably. And probably. I'm assuming that boat that's all the way out there, I'm assuming that's what that's that's what that is for i would assume the same it typically looks like that it is does say sandals on it they do feed the fish as well he's throwing out some bread right now so it's schooling them all around that's all sergeant majors right over there at the shore got the minnows here and the bigger guys out in the deeper area pretty cool yeah better, better than what we thought better than what we thought also it should be noted that this is a floating dock and so if you're wearing dry clothes or you have electronics like we do be careful because it would be pretty easy to kind of go topsy-turvy here and I mean the dock's stable but it does kind of wobble so just just mind yourself I'm flipping on a banana people. yeah all right all right keep proving us wrong yeah. look at that you can see the coral growing off the piling down there there's sergeant majors and other fish swimming around so you know what not as bad as we thought and if you're interested being in a room as close as you can to the swimmable water over here, these buildings are called the Sunchi buildings. Building one, building two, building three of the Suching buildings. And it goes on, I think like nine buildings. So if you wanna be by the swimmable water, as for the Sunchi buildings, when you go to book, the flowers are just gorgeous. Look at all these different colors. Sandals always brings it with the landscaping. That is 100% for certain. Oh, look! It's like the like the flowers in Lilo and Stitch, like the Hawaiian flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. Perhaps that's a little nod to our next cruise. Huh? 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 Lucky look, I found Matt's best friend at the resort. Funnily enough, we haven't seen a sandals cat yet here today. I'm I'm not surprised since it's a new resort. They probably sure. got scared by construction, but they'll come, I'm they'll sure. Back. I hope. They will. For now, Lucky Cat. A lucky Cat, perfect name. And Lucky Cat is over here at the Gatsu Gatsu restaurant, which is um, the sushi restaurant here on resort. Now what's interesting is um, there's no soy sushi here at Ro Royal Curacao, which is usually what you find as the sushi place on other sandals resorts. But here, it's a new place called Gatsu Gatsu. Yeah, that's interesting, which I wonder if Chef Travis does Gatsu Gatsu as well. We met mm -hmm. Chef Travis on the Wonder of the Seas inaugural cruise. He does all the uh, Izumi sushi and hibachi for Royal Caribbean. He does soy sushi for sandals and beaches and kimonos hibachi for sandals and beaches. So I wonder if he was involved with this one too. And looking back at this um, restaurant paper that I showed you guys earlier, yeah. like all of these restaurants pretty much are new named restaurants. So like originals not found at other sandals, except for Butch's. Butch's is a mainstay find that pretty much at every sandals but all of these these are new and unique restaurants so I, I guess cool if you've been to a lot of other sandals and you want to try something new check out let's see if I can get this little yellow bird that we've been seeing all around the resort it's really pretty there it is oh and there it goes bye bird he 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 this time we came prepared swimsuits in tow let's find out for ourselves what that water is like.
Ah, that feels really good. <laughs> and to give an idea of how deep it is, you can see I'm kind of just about maybe halfway, maybe not even halfway. I'm six foot tall and I cannot stand right here. So it is a little deceiving how deep it gets, but the water is really clear. Let's take a look. Well, the water's clearer than we thought, deeper than we thought. It definitely feels good. It feels amazing. So maybe the swimming area isn't as bad as we originally thought, because it, it is a lot further once you're in it than what it looks like from the shore. I, I still hold to the stance that if you're a big beach person and you want to spend all day on the beach and swimming at the beach, I think there's better sandal options for you. Yeah. Now, if you're going to go off resort and do like diving or snorkeling or something, Curacao is one of the best places you can go to. But just for like beach time, I still think you could do better, but. Especially if you're doing that, the activities, the paddle boarding, the kayaking, well, just because there's no room. It's like you have a lane to go down and back. That's it. My thing is like the water is pretty still here, but because you would have to like kind of go around people or try to avoid people, I feel like that'd be kind of hard if it's your first time paddle boarding. Yeah, well, and the water is still until a boat comes flying through the channel, then you get the waves, so. That's true. I don't know, but yeah. I'll tell you this, it feels mighty fine. Oh, All right, he's busted out the bread. <laughs> Gonna draw in the fish. Here they come. Hey, buddies. It's a feeding <laughs> frenzy. What happens when you swim? Hunger sets in. Let's go find some grub. So we've noticed these bikes all over the place and these little bike racks. And apparently you can bike ride around the resort. And I don't think you have to rent them or anything. I think they're just there for you to like grab and use if they're there. So that's pretty fun and pretty cool. Good way to get around the resort. We're passing by the main large infinity pool. And it's cool because there's actually two levels, one up here and one down below here that wraps around. And it does look like it's going straight into the ocean. So pretty cool. It's a pretty cool main pool. Let's grab some grub. We're gonna try some of the food trucks here. They have three included food trucks. They have Toteki, which is a like local fare. They have Kishi, which is bao bowls and curries, like an Asian one. And then they have, I forgot the name of it, like La Palma or something like that, which is Spanish tapas. So we'll see what we get into here. Hey, we came upstairs actually. Now that there was an upstairs up here, she said it has a really great breeze, which she is correct. Nice and shaded and a great view. Look, you can see right out to the water, the boats going by, and even over to the golf course, which is pretty cool. Only thing is, watch your food. Don't leave it unattended because the birds know what to go for. So we ordered from the tapas truck and the Asian truck. We've already received our food from the tapas truck. So these are basically like spicy shrimp. And these are like fried potatoes with some dipping sauces. Looks really good. And we're just waiting on the Asian food right now. Oh, and just to explain how it works, you go up to each individual truck that you want to order from and tell them what you want to order. They'll place it in, you give them your name, and then they'll call out your name whenever it's ready. And then you grab it and bring it back to your table. Ah, uh, now our Asian food is ready. Yeah. Oh, look at that. They're little bao bun, like little bao bun tacos. Tempura shrimp. And then um, some kind of like beef steak one. Oh. They both look really good and it comes with a slaw. Wow, those are fun. And then we got a, this is like a teriyaki bowl, right? Yeah, teriyaki, rice, and it would have come with peppers and onions, but you don't like that, so no peppers and onions. Oh my gosh, it looks and smells delicious. And beautiful view. <laughs> Lunch was delicious. One thing I wanted to point out, we mentioned because of the location here, right on the ocean and then into the channel that the swimming option is not maybe the best, 
but I do really like this spot. I think the view from this resort is really great. Uh, you can get kind of like the cliffs and the high hills or mountains over there. It's kind of desert with the cactus, but then you're right on the canal and then you're right on the the ocean here. Ocean front, you get the beautiful watercolors, the green grass from the golf course. It's just a really nice view, a nice spot to take in. And I do think that they've chosen a great spot for the resort in that respect. Check it out, we wanna get to some sun base side. Tee off next to a dinosaur. <laughs> you were wanting to see some cool new rooms. Yes. I brought you to the top spot. There are two high level of rooms here at Curacao, the two highest levels that are like individual bungalows and you can use the mini coopers on property and stuff like that. One is kind of tucked up more away and you can't really see it. It surrounds a heart shaped swim up pool. The other right here on the water, the Awa Seaside bungalows. I'm not gonna get too close because they're being used and someone's in the pool, but they, Amazing. yeah, right here on the water, you have the infinity style pool and it's a big pool. A lot of times when you have your own private pool, it's like a plunge, yeah. but these are big, big glass see-through infinity style looking right out at the ocean. And of course the actual room itself is a bungalow. So it's like your own little house. It has an outside uh, tub too. Yeah, soaking tub out on the porch the there. It's really nice. That's really pretty. You said that we can't see the, the heart shaped. You can't the really see the pool. The outside. Yeah, you kind of have to go through a bungalow to get to it. It's, you can't really get the idea of it. Well, at least we got a little peek at Ooh, this one. I have another idea though. What's that? I just thought of this. If we were to go up in the building to the top floor and down at the end, we may be able to look over and see it. Whoa. Let's try. Not exactly what we had in mind, but this is the best we can do. But you can see the bungalows going around the pool area. The pool is shaped like a heart with an island in the middle, and those are all swim up bungalows. It's pretty cool. That's the second highest level of room here at the resort. Ah, back where we started, because we are going to bid Sandals Royal Curacao adieu for today. So as always, thank you Sandals for having us out today. It was a lovely time, lovely checking out your newest resort. Until next time, there's Matt. <laughs> Oh yes, forgot to mention the taxi fare to get from the cruise port over to Sandals Royal Curacao is going to go about $50 one way, so about $100 round trip. Now that can go down if you share the cab with others to about $15 per person, but just to give you an idea of what it will cost you to get over there and back to the cruise port. Not too bad, all things considered. And that brings up a point, when you are packing your travel bag to like go out into port that day, make sure you like always pack some, some cash with you because cabs usually are just going to take cash, which may seem like an obvious thing, but it may not be. So I just wanted to mention that. Always have cash with you, expect to pay the cabs cash. All right, friends, that is going to do it for us today. What a fun day it was over in Curacao, but we will be back on board the Norwegian Joy tomorrow. Another day at sea. It's been a while since we've had one, so. We can dive back into Norwegian Joy and experiencing what the ship has to offer and everything, but hopefully you enjoyed the slew of port days. 
We know we did, so mm-hmm. we'll hope we'll see you back tomorrow, though, to get back into the fun activities on board. As always, if you're interested in booking your own travel, feel free to reach out via the travel agent information in the description of this video. It's completely free to you, so why not? All right, we'll see you back tomorrow. But until then, we're signing off for tonight. Happy, Happy travel! travel.